You know her from the multi-platinum R&B group Escape. Tamika Scott holds many titles from professional singer to actress, mom, and now author as she shares her recipes in her first ever cookbook, Cooking with Tamika Scott. Tamika Scott, it is such a treat to have you on the show this morning. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? We're doing good. And like I was saying, you're known as a member of the multi-platinum group Escape. But in some circles, you are known for cooking delicious food. Why did you write a cookbook? Well, during the pandemic, I had a chance to just really cater to my family. And I started posting pictures of what I was cooking. And my fans went into a frenzy, like, how did you cook this? Oh, my gosh, you can cook. So I was going in my DMs, giving them my recipes. And my husband's like, baby, do a cookbook. Just do a cookbook and Here to it is. Start, cook with <laughs> <laughs> and your cookbook is filled with special stories that let us know that family and culture are at the center of your life. How important is it for you to share these intimate moments with your fans? I wanted people to see me in a different light. You know, everybody see me on stage or they see me acting. I wanted them to see me as the wife, the mother, the glamour. I want to, I want them to see something personal. Well, I love that you're doing that. And I wanted to ask, why is Juneteenth and Black Music Month special to you? It is so special to me. I am African-American. I love being who I am. We're strong, we're powerful, yeah. we're smart, and we're creative. So it's very important to me. And how do you like to celebrate these special occasions, Tamika? Well, with my family and my great kids running around <laughs> just doing whatever. <laughs> and we can't talk about your new cookbook without getting a special recipe from you. So what do you have for us today? It looks good from what I can see. So I have my Southern Sweets, ooh, delicious butternut squash, baby. Ooh, uh, that looks delicious. So tell us how you, tell us a little bit how you put that together. Okay, so I start with my, like, two pounds of butternut squash, and I put it in, well, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm excited. <laughs> I start with the mix, my sweet mixture first with brown sugar. This is two tablespoons of brown sugar, and it's a tablespoon of my sweetener. Ooh. And then I like to add in the maple, pure maple syrup. Uh huh. Ooh, so sweet. <laughs> and then I have a pinch of salt and pepper here. And what I do is I mix all this together. Let me see, can you see this? Oh, that looks I mix so good. It with a candy mix. Sweet candy mix, you see that? I can see it, it looks sweet. <laughs> so I mix that in and I add in different little pieces of my butternut squash mm. and I coat it in the mixture. Deliciousness, and it's like a candy coat coating, you see that? Yes, I can see it. <laughs> and then I add this on a greased pan. This is already a little greased pan that goes in the oven. Uh -huh. And I just put it layer it mm -hmm. and you can see the deliciousness of the caramelization that's already on yes. before it even start <laughs> after i do this i do all of it and i put it in the oven i set my oven to 400 degrees fahrenheit first okay and when i put once i put the oven i let it cook 15 minutes take it out and i turn it around and i coat it again on, on the opposite side, you want to get all that coating and deliciousness all over mm -hmm. for another 15 minutes. And baby girl, <laughs> this is my sweet butternut squash. It is delicious and it's packed with vitamin C, vitamin D. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it got all the health benefits. You're making us hungry this morning, Tamika. That's not fair. We can't eat that and try it right now. <laughs> All the more reason to get so the good. cookbook, though. And I wanted to ask you, who, I've heard that you've cooked for some celebrities before. Could you tell us who are some of the people you've made meals for? Well, I was able to cater for the verses between Escape, my group, and SWB. Yeah. And it was fun. It was fun. It was interesting. Things they wanted. Everybody wanted something different. You know, my sister, Natasha, she's vegan. So I had to prepare a vegan dish. A oh. uh, girl, Coco, wanted her lobster tails, and she wanted a certain way, so I had to make her lobster tails. So it was a di it was different little things that people wanted. Tiny wanted her fried chicken with gravy, but it was fun. It was fun. It was delicious. We battled. We won. Uh huh. And then we ate. <laughs> you won and then you ate. And yes, yeah, seeing you on Versus was so much fun. Tamika, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate you sharing one of your recipes from your book. I'm going to let our viewers know where they can go for more information. You can follow Tamika on Instagram at the Real Tamika Scott for updates. And she wants to see your cooking with Tamika Scott prepped and prepared dishes. To, so make sure to tag her and use the hashtag cooking with Tamika Scott.